What's going on ladies and gentlemen? JL here from Ares Acolytes. Gonna come to you with uh, the first war summary that we have recorded and it's going to be our 56th war. Uh, I'm just gonna see what the guys are up to right now. Tell them to kinda say hi a little. Looks like they're talking about hunting. As you guys probably know, hunting season just started and just opened up or the big deer hunting season I should say uh, looks like I'm having a little bit of issues with my Wi-Fi here um, hopefully I can get that cleared up yeah definitely hold on give me a second not to sign off here alright and we're back Oh uh, yeah, see some of the guys are talking about the YouTube channel. It's brand new, but anyway, let's get into it. I'm going to show you guys a few attacks here that I really liked from this last war. Um, it was a war against Smoke. Um, as you can tell, we came out with the win. It was our eighth win in a row, and uh, they, they, they came out pretty strong. I'm going to show what, what they did against us. You know, a lot of two stars really didn't get any three stars on any of our town hall nines or above and but they did do a pretty good job on our town hall eights uh cleaning all those up uh but nonetheless show the war results uh you know we had 12 three stars to their 10 eight two stars and uh no one star so uh three stars do win wars fellas don't let anybody tell you anything otherwise hashtag molt alright so the first attack I'm gonna get into is um, one that Grim brought on the number 15 I'm gonna go over a quick scout on the base uh, just a few things that we noticed uh, not a max town hall 8 uh, lower level archer towers ab above the cannons and you see sweepers facing this way and not max air defense and so what we decided is that he would come with a Dragaloon attack uh, starting from this direction trying to get these two air defenses out pretty quickly with some balloons behind it and uh, just really take it on this base so we're gonna s you're gonna see what's gonna happen here and dragon it's gonna go down on this on the lab and a dragon over here to start the funnel and then you're just gonna see a big streak of drags right here and and the balloons coming in so let's go ahead and get into this raid alright so you can see dragging down here taking out the drill probably then move on to the army camp and start that funnel and then you got a dragon up here on the lab and once you see those buildings go down um, you're gonna see this big streak of drags right here coming in there they go they're all starting and there's about here's our, our drags and then these are already in range and he, he gets good good placement with the balloons to come in and the uh, dragon had uh, gotten a hold of that air defense so it had air defense had locked on balloons just go in there and just as you guys can tell it just wrecks the base uh, they keep moving on I think right here he could have probably dropped another rage fell right here and he would have gotten a real good efficiency out of those balloons but that's just being nitpicky um, as you can tell they're they're already moving their way through they're moving the line and you could tell even though he did funnel in this area you still had some dragons uh, come out to this side and kinda just go kinda take a, uh, I guess a fly not really a walk but a fly and uh, and then they start converging and you can tell at this point there's one air defense and he's still got one two three four five six seven dragons not to mention his barb king with uh, still walking around here so it's just a matter of time we just need this this uh, dragon to take out that Tesla and then latch onto that air defense out ah, there it is once that happens it's GG and you can see once that goes down it's just clean up and these drags take care of it and they take that down and they're gonna take that down so good luck and way to go Grim bringing home the three star for us it's always big time with Grim um, next attack I'm going to show you is by Sir Kick Yoas. Uh, Sir Kick, he's been doing uh, some interesting attacks with uh, giants, wizards, and uh, 
hogs, and he's been really effective with it. He's been pretty much on point the last few wars. So what we're going to look at here is that Town Hall 8, you're always looking at where can you get the CC Lord, how you can take them down, and then where you want to bring in some giants and some wizards so that you can eliminate some big bog pathing. And, so, and you can tell the big bombs in this are pretty obvious. You know, again, big bombs are 2x2 two two squares. So you could have some right here, some right here, some right here, and some right here. Everywhere else, is it, there's really no other spots for big bombs inside the base. And uh, so this base is actually not built too badly. Um, the only problem, as I see it, is that you could easily trigger if there was double big bombs or big bombs in these corners really easily with the pathling because um, they would lock on right away. But other than that, uh, really not a whole lot to the base. You can see it's pretty tight. Not a whole lot of spring traps even within it. So it's a really good candidate for hogs. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get going on the raid. I liked what, what Sir Kick did here. You're going to see he's going to drop the hog from here, this angle. And what he was really trying to get was he was trying to get that big bomb, if there was one there, to trigger. He did actually get a spring trap, so it wasn't a complete waste over there. But a little unfortunate. I think if he'd have dropped it maybe from here, they might have gone in there, and maybe he gets a big bomb trigger. However, you're going to see here, he's. this is also something interesting that Sir Kick has been doing um, on the CC drag kill. And what he does is he drops that poison down, and then you're going to see him drop just a little crescent of archers right here to give some targets. And then you're going to see him drop his own CC drag. That's been really effective in terms of getting that dragon down, and then this dragon then coming in and doing some cleanup on these troops. Now you can see here he's he's gonna come in with the giants, some wall breakers behind, and wizards behind. So he wants to kind of push into this base and see if he can get some of these single target defenses down. Once he sees that that Tesla pop, he realizes, oh, cool, I can start actually bringing in my hogs because. There's probably going to be a Tesla on this side too, and I don't got to worry about big bombs right there. So you're going to see it. Um, he starts his hogs to get a split right here. And I think that he prob probably could have dropped a heel right here. That's just being nitpicky. Uh, as you can tell, he did get some pretty good value out of this heel spell here. But I think, I think if he'd have dropped one right here, he'd have saved about three or four hogs on this raid. And you're going to see here at the end. Three or four hogs might have helped a little bit, uh, but it was a three-star raid. I mean, we can't can't knock him too much. He, he brings home the three, and he's a beast. You're going to see right here. we got a little bit of an unfortunate situation happening right here. Again, we're seeing hogs. They're, atta they're attacking that gold storage, and they didn't actually latch on to the Barb King right away. They sat there, and they were attacking that gold storage and the barb king was just sitting there pounding on them and took out some hogs but fortunately he's got cleanup troops on this side he's got his barb king still with the iron fist ability and he's got a, a whiz right here coming in for this this high hp cc so you're gonna see it, it it's just clean up from here guys and he's gonna take out the base of so three stars Three stars it is for Ares Acolytes and way to go. Sir Kick, you're always a beast on these Town Hall 8s and bring it home for the solid for the last few wars. Alright, next one I'm going to show is I Steal Wi-Fi. Coming in on the number 6, and this was a first attack, 3 star on a Town Hall 9. I'm going to take a quick look at it, kind of tell you guys what, what it is we, we had talked about uh, before the attack. Um, he brings a Goho. And on the Goho, he's bringing a cold-blooded Goho. So, his whole deal was, he sees a lot of buildings on this outside uh, outside ring. And they're all just in this ring. And the other thing we see is that that queen is somewhat accessible. If he just breaks in through this wall here, then puts a jump, place a nicely placed jump right here. And he'll get his Barb King should funnel in and take out that enemy Archer Queen. You're also going to see if uh, he's going to bring a hog from this side, kind of get the CC lure on this archer tower here. You can tell it's about 
one to about one two three tiles in uh, inside the uh, the ring here this archer tower so you're just gonna get a nice easy CC pool and then uh, what we noticed was um, there's probably gonna be some big bombs and some Teslas here in that core uh, as I talked about in one of my other videos um, one of the things you're going to notice on some of these bases with these anti-2 layouts is that you're going to see quad Teslas in the core probably with a big bomb or two and so what Wi-Fi talked about on his attack was that he wanted to kind of get a big push of hogs into here because if you look at their pathing they're probably going to go here you might get some split to this wizard tower and then to this air defense and then probably into the core. So if he has quite a bit into the core, he could heal him up here, heal him up right here, take down this core, and then just start bringing him in surgically, counterclockwise around the base with the hogs. And meanwhile, he brought four witches on this attack, and you're going to have witches kind of just tanking and moving their way through the base around this ring, cleaning up all these buildings. And you're going to see all those witches and all the skellies that they provide are just really clutch throughout the raid. I'm going to go ahead and get going. Uh, you're going to see right here, he's going to drop a hog. And easy CC lure. You see a couple balloons, dragon. Everybody in this in this clan kind of does their CC dragon kill a little different. You see this here, he drops a golem. But with this new poison and the buff that it has, uh, I looted it to it in the other video. It, it's It's somewhat OP. It's it slows down their attack speed and it's doing more damage so you're gonna probably start seeing this more often where guys are bringing just gonna start the the golem drop and the golem push right away and they're just gonna kill that CC on the move even more than before because of the fact that it slows slows down their attack speed it does more damage so what you can see is here he, get, he gets going Queen goes down and then he starts the hogs and he takes down these two buildings right here you're gonna see a few of them come up in over here and they're gonna just all gonna they're gonna start making their way into the core now so you got some hogs in there you got everything in there you see him start dropping them around surgically over here if you over here he's still got nine hogs in the bag watch and here you can see him he's gonna probably drop a few more on this side good placed heal spell right there he hit the big bomb you're gonna see him drop five hogs there he's still got four hogs in the bag you still got witches right here working around the base he's still got his archer queen with its ability and you're gonna see he's gonna probably drop these last four hogs down in this area yep unfortunately he got a big bomb there and he's got a wizard tower Ooh, he's really close to losing all his hogs right there but he got it done however he's got his archer queen up he's got a few hogs that just split and then Remember when I talked about those witches? Well, look at this. He's got a couple witches down here putting in work. A wizard putting in work on these high HP buildings. And you've got s tons of skellies just on the outside of the base coming from this side. So you kind of got a flanking cleanup here. And those wizards are just absolutely clutch. So good job to Wi Fi. This is just cleanup. I'm going to 4 exit and go ahead and show. He's just been on a tear these last couple of wars three starring his opponents and their town hall nines and town hall nine three stars as anyone can tell you is is quite difficult even on a base like this so great job to Wi-Fi and uh, I think that's it that was all I got for this war recap until next time guys we'll see you guys later